Hello, Michelle with Crafty Servings and my buddy Cash coming on to do a paper craft. So, but I'm going to show you another option that might surprise you. So make sure you stick around. We're going to make a beautiful ornament. Um, you've probably seen some like this before, but I'm doing my take on it. I always try and do something a little different and I think it's going to be gorgeous. Um, also, I'm going to show you another option to it that could be almost like a memory kind of ornament. So make sure you come on, say hi, let me know you're out there. Like I said, we're paper crafting today. Um, I am going to show another option though besides paper. And I think it's just going to be, you can use anything. You can, um, I'll show you the last option later. But right now for this paper crafting, you can use cardstock, you can use scrap of paper, um, you can use paper bags. Uh, it, so it's, it's really unlimited what kind of paper you can use other than you don't want to use like tissue paper or napkins. That would be a little difficult. Okay. You need something that has a little body to it. So the paper that I chose, and I'll show you again, other options that I have. And you want to have something sort of two sided. Okay. And because you're going to see a front and a back but now say this this is what i'm using isn't that gorgeous it's such this deep rich red color um you can see it better down here this is really the color that it is so and it's got like a little bit of brown or black running through it thank you deborah for passing me on um this is the back but it's actually really cool that's going to really add to the character of these ornaments. All right, so I'm not going to cut out a whole ornament. You need 20 circles. Let me tell you, let's see, the size of the circles I'm using, I would guess, are probably about two and a half inches, three inches. It's really not particular. You can also use, like, you know, do different shapes. You could use a diamond. I was going to do a diamond. Um, you can do these as ornaments. You can do them as a garland, and I'll show you that you're going to be able to be able to do. You're going to be able to kind of be able. <laughs> you're going to be able to do that as an ornament or whatever way you do it. So I like using half circles to trace. It's easier to cut out. I don't want to waste paper though because it's going to be really a tight fit on here to get enough of them in. Let's see. I think I'm already going to start this way. So I already got it started over here and I'm only going to cut out, maybe I'll cut out maybe like eight circles because that'll go fast, but you need 20 circles. So out of one piece of these, you could get nine circles if you do this size. And you need 20 circles. So go ahead and you cut out 20 circles. Yeah, some paper is really expensive, but you can use cardstock. You can use brown paper bags, which would be gorgeous. Uh, you can use, the only thing that you, that you need to know is that you need to have something that will look nice two-sided. So I think the back of this paper looks gorgeous, so it's perfect for a two-sided too. It even has like little red specks in there where that red soaked through. Um, so just something that is the two-sided. You also could have a cardstock that same color both sides. You, you know, whatever's gonna work. So you would go ahead and cut out um, 20 pieces of this paper and I want to hide the rest of it because we don't need any more. So for this one, now you can just start gluing them together and I'll show you gluing them together. But I want to add some black highlighting around the circles. So I'm just using my stamp pad and I'll show you how that looks so pretty. All right, so you're just gonna take these and fold them back in half. Now, I already had them creased for when I cut out. Um, this one wasn't, is this one not creased? I thought I might have had them all creased.
And if they're not quite <laughs> the right shape of a circle, you know, just, just trim that up. All right, I'm gonna, I think I have to do this. I hate to do that, but I think you can see a little better, possibly. All right, so we just folded them all in half and we've got them ready. So we're gonna start the gluing process. I'm using, and I don't know why I thought I'd try it. It's the Fabric Fix. There's Fabric Tack. You can use hot glue, although hot glue, I don't know in, in colder, if that's gonna hold, cold or hot. I don't know if that'll hold. This is permanent. It says it's a fabric adhesive, but it seemed to have worked really good on doing this. It's just something that I have. So use your fabric of choice. Double stick tape, I tried that. I, even though it says permanent, I tried that on those big paper hearts and it really didn't hold. I ended up stapling them and you can't staple this. You have to have something that's gonna hold. All right, so you're gonna eyeball it and just put a dot right in the middle, right in the middle of that and, and fold it up. And you can do multiple at one time. Now this fabric fix, what it tells you, it's, it's a men, it's a mending uh, permanent like for hams and fabric and everything. It works on here, it works. Um, so, but you don't want to squish it so hard that it really blends into the fibers. It needs that glue to do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a dot of glue on a number of these. All right, I'm just gonna pick them all up and stack them together. I am so full of that black ink here too. Right, this is the one that I glued before. If we need to as a quick fix, I'm gonna use the hot glue gun, but I think we're gonna be good. So we're just gonna get this together sort of. If any of the glue comes out, just wipe that on. Right, we're just going to stick it. So if you're doing a number of them, get a clothespin out, stick it on, and be done with it. All right, but I'm going to actually use these again, and we're going to do another gluing, and then we'll put paper clip, or we'll put um, clothespins on it, or if you have the clips, you can get those paper clips. Those would work just fine, but um, I think we're pretty good with this. But if nothing else, I'm gonna use that clothespin back again. So we're gonna just take these again, lay them out. All right, and we're gonna take this. Now we're gonna go maybe about a half an inch and draw a line, and I'll show you in a second. And draw a line over here. So you're just gonna put a line on each side like that. Well, it's sort of even. This fabric fix dries faster than um, your fabric tack, but I love fabric tack for, for reasons too. And we're just gonna stack these up. I'm gonna stack another one on top to cover all that glue. Right, and I'm gonna add the clothes pins again, and we're gonna put in on each side here. Let's just finish these and we'll add them to that stack and then we're gonna go. I'm having an argument with myself. My heart wants to stay in and crap, but my head says shovel snow. Oh, go with your heart, Kathy. Go with your heart. But it's not easy when you gotta shovel the snow. You go shovel the snow and come watch me on replay, hon. All right. So I'm gonna do that. We're just gonna do it on two more of these because I have to 
stack them on there. Um, actually, we could do all three because we'll stack them at the bottom then. One of them at the bottom. Okay, we're just going to stack these up again. And we'll take these and stack that right on there. Okay, make sure they're nice and even along here. And then get your clothespins or binder clips, whatever you have, out and let that dry very well. All right. You want to see how it turns out? And then we're going to decorate it on, decorate my take on decorating on it. Yeah, you have to go. You have to go, Kathy. <laughs> All right. After you have them all glued together in that way, you go like this. All right, so this is the way I had these folded and the red is in the middle. Now you could actually have folded them the opposite way and then the red would be on the top and the white would be in the middle. Isn't that gorgeous? But now we're gonna decorate it. So, okay, so you can't glue these ends together yet. Thank you for the hearts. Um, so you can't glue these ends together yet until you get something through the middle. I mean, you, you can, but you wanna be able to make sure whatever you gotta get in here, you want glued in here so that it's gonna hold. Now, the other thing that I'm, so there's multiple things I'm gonna use on here. So we're going to use a little doily. These were little doilies from my mom. I have many little doilies and this is going to ultimately be at the top and there's going to be more at the top. Okay. Um, you can use whatever you want. You don't even have to put anything at the top if you don't want. But what I'm going to do, so you could do a ribbon, like this ribbon would be really pretty in here. You could already make your loop, glue it in here and put it on like that. That would be really cute. Yeah, there's it's so unlimited what you can do with this. So what I'm using is this chain. Right, see how sparkly that is? So we're gonna use chain. I think what we're gonna do is, I think I'm gonna I think I'm going to just glue that in there because the chain's gonna go up through here. Okay, we're gonna, the chain is coming up through this doily. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, that's gonna go on there. Just so you know, I'm using a doily also on Thursday for Craft Around the Clock. One of my little doilies here. It's gonna be so cute. All right, my chain. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just lay this in here and we're gonna glue. I've got my hot glue out. Have it to the height that you want it, so it's gonna be about like that. I'm just gonna break that. We're gonna glue this in here. You can also use other glue just to make sure it's gonna stay. Don't touch. If you saw the steam, you don't wanna to touch. You could use paper clips also. It just depends though how many layers you're doing as you're going. All right, so if you you want to do this many layers, I don't think a little paper clip would clip it, but you know what else you could do is take something with weight and put it on there. So like a plate, lay it on there. You just want to make sure though to check it once in a while because when you open this up, you want to make sure, now a little glue leaked out up here, I want to make sure that each of those openings there are going to still open, a little glue leaked in there. So you just want to make sure that each of those openings, see you can see it's still not dry, but you want to make sure that those openings don't get glued together. So that's why you have to be careful with how you glue. We're gonna have to steal that though in a second. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and glue this. I think I'm going to, now I'm just using these two. So it's going to be, because it's this flat so it's side going together, we have to put it like this. Um, well, we'll just do the whole hot glue. I wasn't thinking. And just really squish that together. We're gonna let that, let that gel. This side doesn't look as nice as the other. I've got, look at that. Instead of gluing the ball, you could clip it so you could fold it for storage. Oh, absolutely, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. But you could give this as a gift and then you probably don't wanna just clip it, okay? And if you clip it, you can't really decorate much on the top of it, all right? But that's a great idea for just a, a beautiful ornament like this. That is a great idea. All right, so let's add, I think we're dry here. Hopefully it won't pop off. Let's add this doily. I'm just looking if there's a front and a back to it. Pretty soon I'll show you what else you can make with um, instead of cardstock or paper stock. Okay, just put this on. That just so pretty, so pretty. All right, so let's do a bowl. You got the idea. I like the bigger one. But let's just trim this. I'm just doing little slants on the ribbon. There. Oops, get back on there. All right, and then this is gonna go on there like that. And you could just be done with that too. Let's um, let's put that on first. Hold, hold, hold. It'd be so pretty with raffia bowl too on here. Yeah, it'd be all. Things I can do things like this. It's just certain things that I have to be careful of that are a little painful. All right, so this would be just pretty, just like this, right? I'm looking for yeah, for that back side. All right, we got that. Let's just set this on here. Now, all right, we have different things we can add in here. Well, the one thing that I thought would be really pretty, well, this would be pretty too, adding a couple of these little sparkly, but I'm not sure. I also have these little red glass ones, which would be pretty. I have this, which has little sparkles on, which I think would be pretty. I have greens. I have greens, which I could hang. Oh, this would be really cute. A little bit of that. All right, so a little bit of that and a little bit of this will be all so pretty. That's all right, Linda. Yes, we watch later. Oops, I just want to cut a little one off like this. tucking in some of these under here. I'll glue after we get this figured out. So we're gonna just tuck that in. Make sure the sparkle side. So there is a sparkle side to this. This, these stems, I believe I got at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas section. So of course, of course, they're on sale. Let me see, I feel like that one's upside down, but...
Hello, Mary. Yeah, the glass berries I think will be really nice on here too. I feel like that other one is upside down. I, I have to change that other one. It's probably stuck. Of course, we're going to have to pick out a button to put on here, right? go in the button absolutely not not in something so pretty as this all right this is so far we're almost done we're almost done and some of these little I think these greens are so pretty I mean I also have like some of these but that just doesn't seem classy these just seem like they have a little bit of class to them The only trick will be is that I might have to add just a little something to cover this center. So we maybe could have done the bow last, but then you don't know what it's gonna look like. That's looking really pretty in there, so I do think I'm gonna add a few more of them. Gorgeous. Okay, let's put this up. All right, so far. I might just have to cut them shorter. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cut these a little shorter. Oh, I keep dropping things. Cut that one shorter. Cut this shorter. Good thing these aren't hard to cut. Yeah, I had to have them cut something the other day for me too. All right, we're gonna put just little short ones in here. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. Looking for my front. This back this way. I like. Maybe like that. What do you think about that? I think I sort of like that. Let's just glue that one in. I can get it to fit back where I had it. Yeah, I think it looks vintage, right? Let's just put some glue on these. It's looking so pretty, so pretty. Um, I think we're almost done other than a button and the beads on the bottom. So I'll show you how I do the beads on the bottom after we figure out the button. I don't think we need this in here. Let's just, let's just see.
Oh, what do you think? Actually, what do you think? Sometimes I feel like less is more, but each time I add something else, it's like I'm liking it. Give me some hearts if you like that in there. The pearl type button would look nice. Oh, that would look really nice too. You know, speaking of pearls, Oh, but this pearl, that pearl won't match because it doesn't have, it's not the right coloring. Let's do one more of these. Yeah, I've got, I should bring out my, oh gosh. Look at that. Okay, I got a little one here. We're going to do. Now, the other one matches better. All right, we're going to do this one. I should look to see. Did anybody say no, no button? I think a tassel may be what I may end up doing. Let's just see what this will look like. I just think that these are too little to do them all by themselves. Yeah, I'm I'm leaning towards, yeah, something gold, some, something gold to hang off the bottom. But, okay, so, and I'll show you, um, let's just glue this in because I'm liking this gold in here. All right, there we go. There's the front. Um, let me show you the other idea I had that I played with and it works. All right. I had a pair of my dad's jeans here yet. Okay, um, they were partly cut up because I made things with them. Um, look at what I did with the jeans. I did the same thing with jeans. So this would be another thought. So, you know, you see the memory ornaments with jeans. I've done them, I've done them, where you wrap styrofoam. You could also do something like this. I got this from my friend Erna, like several years ago after I just started crafty serving. She crocheted all these ornaments for me. Um, so Erna, I'm still using them. So you could put something like that on there, but yeah, you can even as long as something sturdy um, felt would be gorgeous doing something like this. Oh, I right. so again, there we go. I love, look at the top of it, how pretty that is. And you could see the sparkle. You could even do spray glitter on here now if you wanted to add with that sparkle on the top. I just think that would be, but yeah, paper, paper, it's gorgeous. 